all right guys so in today's video we'll be doing a comparison between a paid app that you can use directly with final cut pro to create auto caption and also a free software outside of final cut pro that you can use to create the same auto caption so let's clear this out i'm not being paid by any of this company or brands this is something i want to do to hopefully help you guys to choose one or pick one when it comes to auto caption in final cut pro all right guys let's go straight to it so the two that we'll be comparing is CapCut and captionator first of all the price this is so obvious CapCut is a clear winner on this one CapCut is a complete free software that you can download online and use it whenever you want captionator on the other hand cost me $22.99 in my region and that's quite expensive but the good thing is captionator works directly with final cut pro and that brings us to our next point integration CapCut is a complete editing software in order to use it you will need to export from final cut pro then import into CapCut, and then you can get access to auto caption in that software but with captionator it works hand in hand just like premiere pro and after effects all you have to do is select the video you want the caption to show on go to the export side select captionator it will take you to captionator app then you can create the style and generate the auto caption on the caption app it will create a new event for you in final cut pro then you can easily copy and place it on your timeline do some small tweak and changes to it and you are good to go captionator wins on this one convenience of use both CapCut and captionator are quite easy to use and understand the platform comes with self-explaining features that you can use a day to learn and master the platform it is not complicated to use and understand both platforms so with this it's a draw between captionator and CapCut. Features. Captionator comes with some few features that you can add some style to your auto captions like the build in and out animation and changing the titles to word to word or some few words on the screen. But with CapCut on the other hand it comes with a whole lot of features that are very useful in this current short content format. It has a lot of animation that can be added separately to in and out or also loop. Also you can add text to speed just like what we see on tiktok these days and many video. more cool effects on CapCut. CapCut wins on this one speed test so with speed test it is based on how fast both platform can generate auto caption we have CapCut on the left and captionator on the right i'll be using the same clip of 60 seconds of me just saying some few words from iphone you can use google drive as you can see captionator was really fast it took like one second to 1.5 seconds to generate 16 seconds clip whilst CapCut took 7 seconds to generate auto caption of just 16 seconds clip. Captionator wins on this one. Accuracy. I have a strong African accent. Under. Huh? Under. So let's see how both platforms will be able to create auto caption. So just like the previous one, captionator on the right and CapCut on the left. And right there you can see I did 8 changes and some few changes with captionator and 0 changes with CapCut. That was really interesting to know. CapCut wins this one. Reliability. So so far I've not had any issues with both platforms. They work perfectly, no crashes anywhere or freezing anywhere. And if you care to know, my mark is on Ventura 13.2.1 and I edit on Final Cut Pro 10.6.6. .6. It is a draw on this one. Languages. Captionator has more language options compared to CapCut. And so far I've only tried English on both platforms so I can only tell how how accurate both platform are but with the rest of the languages i have no idea how accurate they are probably in the future i'll do a comparison video on that for you guys captionator wins this one my final thought from the comparison i did it is a close one both platforms are equally good and comes with its own strengths and weaknesses but in my opinion for now i'm gonna lean towards CapCut because of how accurate it is but i know for sure in the future captionator will be coming up with some good updates that is going to be really good for Final Cut Pro, especially that you can use hand in hand directly with Final Cut Pro. Hope you guys really enjoyed this one. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace.